from the new Guardians of the Galaxy film to Adam Driver's new prehistoric trailer. Here's the top movie trailers that dropped during the Super Bowl. For instance, fans might have overlooked the new Scream trailer. Before the Super Bowl, Paramount released a trailer for its sixth Scream film. The new installment of the infamous franchise casts a fairly recent fan favorite. That's right, it stars Wednesday star Jenna Ortega. This teaser didn't really come as a surprise since the production company announced the TV spot online just four days ago. In the new film, Ghostface travels to New York City to continue slashing. The movie also stars other Hollywood's favorite celebs, such as Hayden Panettiere, friends Courtney Cox, Jack Champion, Tony Revolori, and Samara Weaving. So when's it releasing? Very soon. The movie hits theaters on the 10th of March this year. I don't know about you, the sheer nostalgia of the Scream franchise is enough to convince me to buy a ticket. But Scream isn't the only infamous and beloved saga that's releasing a new film this year. Indiana Jones fans rejoice. The new trailer for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny was released during the big game. This was the first time America's favorite archaeologist got to see the Super Bowl stage. The trailer was brief and straightforward, showing an iconic and classic Indiana Jones adventure. The fifth Indiana Jones film follows Indy, played by beloved Harrison Ford, and his goddaughter Helena, who, by the way, will be played by fleabag actress Phoebe Waller-Bridge. The plot follows them as they battle ex-Nazis working for NASA to aid in the space race. The movie's antagonist is also a perfect pick. Mads Mikkelsen as Voller, a scientist. The movie looks great, but you know what looks even better? The CGI de-aging Ford. I mean, it's so impressive what CGI can do. Speaking of films with CGI, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania was set to hit theaters just days after the Super Bowl. But Marvel Studios and Disney chose to focus on their next release instead, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. Since directing the first Guardians of the Galaxy film in 2014, James Gunn has made a name for himself at Marvel. He went on to direct the 2017 sequel and served as executive producer on many other Marvel films. However, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 is Gunn's final Marvel film, as the filmmaker has moved on to rival DC territory. He is the co-head of DC Studios, where he is continuing to work to release a roster of films, including a Superman film he's writing. This also marks the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy saga. But don't get too sad, the movie looks great. The new Guardians of the Galaxy film is said to center on Rocket Raccoon, the character voiced by Bradley Cooper and played on set by actor Sean Gunn. Yeah, it's not a real raccoon. Mind-blowing. The movie is said to be released on the 5th of May. Saying goodbye is going to be difficult, but I can't wait to watch the final sequence. I know I've been listing down film sagas till now, but don't worry. There's some really cool original movies coming out too. One of them being the sci-fi thriller 65. This has one of the most intriguing plot twists we've seen in a long time. A pilot, played by Adam Driver, crash lands on a planet along with the only other survivor, Koa, played by Ariana Greenblatt. They discover that they've landed on Earth 65 million years ago and are now fleeing dinosaurs. Sony Pictures' big game commercial for 65 did an excellent job. The trailer for 65 likely put the film on the radar of many people who had not heard of it before. It was really cool, with letters slowly appearing reminiscent of the opening of Alien and the big money shot of Adam Driver standing down against a T-Rex. It is in many ways exactly what a Super Bowl commercial should be. Simple, eye-catching, and thrilling. The trailer, which was written, directed, and produced by Scott Beck and Brian Woods, came as no surprise either. Sony released it online two days before the Super Bowl. But boy, was it a hit. 65 will also be released in theaters on March 10th. But 65 isn't the only highly anticipated upcoming original. There's Affleck's basketball film. A basketball-related film premiering during the Super Bowl seems to be an odd pairing, but the preview for Ben Affleck's latest film, Air, looks fantastic. 
The movie is about Nike's historic deal with then-rookie Michael Jordan to create the Air Jordan. One look at the trailer and the story quickly hooks the viewers. Amazon Studios is so confident in the film that it will be the company's first theatrical wide-release film since 2019's Late Night. But the former Batman has actually worked behind the camera previously as well. Just once, though. So, this will also be Ben Affleck's first film as a director since Live By Night in 2016. And after Goodwill Hunting and The Last Duel, another collab between Affleck and Hollywood hunk Matt Damon has the potential to be classic. The movie also stars other beloved celebs like Oscar winner Viola Davis, Chris Tucker, and Jason Bateman. He really is in everything, isn't he? Air is set to drop in cinemas on the 5th of April. Going back to iconic sagas releasing new adaptations, I'm sorry, but there are too many. The Transformers are returning, Transformers Rise of the Beasts, a new film in the infamous saga will be released this summer. The 30-second commercial featured Mirage, a new Autobot who converts into a Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8. Though there wasn't a lot they showed us since the trailer lasted just 30 seconds, I believe the small teaser was a great idea, and it's because it was able to generate lots of anticipation without giving too much away. The film will start introducing Maximals, Predacons, and Terrorcons to the ongoing Autobot vs. Decepticon battle on Earth. The film, directed by Stephen Capel Jr. and starring Anthony Ramos, will be released in theaters on June 9th. June's going to be a pretty busy month for movie lovers, as there's another huge release happening in June. And I promise, if you're anything like me, you've been waiting for this one for a while now. If you still haven't figured it out yet, it's The Flash. Warner Bros. has a lot riding on The Flash. The film has been postponed several times, as well as having to deal with disturbing headlines involving star Ezra Miller. The movie isn't expected to reset the DC Universe ahead of new DC Studios head James Gunn's ambitious goals for the franchise. Warner Bros. hasn't really run a Super Bowl commercial since 2006, when it promoted V for Vendetta and Poseidon. This makes The Flash the studio's first comeback to the big game in nearly 17 years. The trailer doesn't fail to impress at all. It offers a distinct visual style, one that pays homage to the previous DC Universe while still having its own flair for theatrical visuals. The grand reintroduction of Michael Keaton's Batman is truly a sight to behold. But we also have the introduction of Sasha Kaye as Supergirl, and by the looks of it, I have to say, she has great promise to be a breakout character. Not just for this film, but for the DC Universe in the future. The return of Michael Shannon as General Zod from the first DC film, Man of Steel, helps sell this film as a conclusion. It returns everything back to the beginning, ushering in a new era for the franchise. Those were the top film trailers dropped during the 2023 Super Bowl.